welcome to Nivy's Toy Story. Hi guys, it's Nivy. I hope you're doing very well and I'm doing good too. Did you watch my last Toy Story, which was Why Peacock Struts? Well, I hope you do. Do you know what Toy Story I'm going to tell you today? It is Ampata and the Scarlet McCoy. Let's start. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl called Ampata. She was looking in the deep dark forest for a very special water called the Edge of the World Lake, which was a mysterious lake and a sort of dangerous lake, but will help someone save their lives. So she was trying to find it, but soon after she got really tired and breathed out that she climbed a tree on a branch, Lee lay down and slept peacefully. And on the morning she woke up with a beautiful morning light. She was staring at two beautiful birds. They were very, very pure, like they she never seen them before, only a, around a few times, but it's very, very cool to see, and they will help you do anything. And then the two birds asked her that, oh, you seem lonely, you should go back to your home. What happened, your dear friend? She continued with a smile. She said, Oh, um, what happened was, my, was that my younger brother was really, really sick that he's going to die soon and I need to save him. And my two other brothers were trying to find the precious water called the edge of the lake and I need to find that to save my brother's life. They were both sad and thought. They were like, hmm, let's make this problem solve. Let's help you. So they flew up to the sky and they rubbed their tails together and here flies down three beautiful feathers of theirs. And she looked up on her back. She was like, oh, what is this? What is the reason for? Oh, it might be that they're going to help me. Yes, yes, I got the chance. And then they went and went and went, went down and through the forest. She used one of the feathers feathers as a wish so she said I wish I would be next to the edge of the lake and a few seconds later with a mysterious sound here she came near the edge of the lake and she was amazed that it actually worked only two more wishes until it is gone she was happy and she said, my wish came true. And, and soon after, she looked around and seen the beautiful lake, beautiful reflecting lake. She got a beautiful jug from her little bag and scooped up the water. And soon after, she looked around and what she saw with a shock there were big red ants and they were with those sharp claws. They were ready to eat her. They were ready to eat that beautiful girl. She was so scared because there was thousands and thousands of them. They were climbing from trees, bushes, everywhere and surrounding her. The only way is to have that wish. And that side were the red ants and the other side were where 
the lake was. She couldn't go in the lake, otherwise she wouldn't survive, because that's very dangerous and she might not breathe. She was like, hesitation. Oh no. She got her three feathers and the middle one she chose. She said, I wish these ants will go away and not harm me. A few seconds later, it happened. So, you know what happened? The ants stopped and they were like, Hey, why am I here? Let's go back to our place. They went back. She was like, Phew, with a sigh of relief. She was like, Thank you, birds, you're the best. And she thought deeply for something else. What could that last wish be for? Something really useful. Hmm. Aha, I know the best idea is I will go back to the palace and say this to the king. So she got her last feather and she wished again. I hope I will go to the palace and say that I got this special drink for my little brother. A few seconds later, with nowhere, she was, came in front of the king. Everyone was like, what? Because in front of nowhere in their eyes, here comes um, Pata. She said very clearly and very sternly, Oh, my dear king, I have found this precious water for my loved little brother and to save his life. They were all shocked and they didn't believe her. And then the king said, Are you telling the truth? Because if this happens, you're going to prison as well. Okay? Then she said very clearly again, Yes, I will tell the truth. She got the special jug and the special water inside. She, then the king put it in a special cup to make it moister. He went to little brother and said, Oh my dear son, you should drink this so you feel very well. Then he gave him some of the drink and a few minutes later, he was very well and fit. He was open-eyed and sat up and said, Thank you for that drink. It made me energetic and it made me so alive. Thank you very much. The king was proud of his own daughter and son. He was like, Oh, my dear Ampata, you are such a dear. Do you get to have three big things you want for that little thing? So tell me. First, Ampata thought and said, um, First, I want the family and relatives and everyone to be happy and healthy and never get like this situation. And then he said, Number two. Uh, uh, she thought and said, uh, I need my two brothers out of prison. And then he was shocked and said, Why do you want that? They have to stay for prison. Then he said, um, Why can't I? Then he said, Okay, that's fine. We can release them. Then the third thing was, and she paused. Then he said, Oh, come on, do something. Do something for yourself, not everyone. Because you care so much about everyone. Then he said, okay, the last wish is that I don't have a third wish because I'm fine as myself. Then King said, okay, that's fine. I will do whatever you said. And they all was happy. They both brothers were released. The younger brother was happy and healthy and fit. Everyone crowded around, gave a big hug, and they lived happily ever after. The end.
Did you like the story? Well, I hope you did. If you like the story, please thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below to tell me what you like about the story. This is Nivy, Adam Pata, and the Scarlet McCoys signing out. Yeah.